All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the Not64 emulator on the Nintendo Wii. Now, this is going to work the exact same way for the Wii U on the VW side. I'm going to be leaving you all links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. So the very first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down on the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be one link. Now this is going to be a zip folder. So you need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now you need to copy all the contents of the folder onto the root of your Nintendo Wii's SD card formatted in FAT32. As for the games, they need to go in the ROMs folder in .N64 or .Z64 formats. As for the controllers you can use, you can use a combination of the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, Classic Controller, Wii Pro Controller, and the GameCube Controller. I'm also going to be showing you how you install the Watch Channel using Wii Mod Lite. I'm going to be leaving you a compatibility list for this emulator. So just scroll down on the page. It's going to show you what games are going to be compatible and which are going to have issues. Now this is going to be the folder unzipped. So you're going to have an apps folder with Not64 and we Mod Lite to install the channel. You're going to have a Not64 folder with a ROMs folder. Now this is where you're going to place all your games. There's also going to be a WADS folder with your Not64 WAD. So now just select all the folders and then copy them onto the root of your Nintendo Wii's SD card. So that's basically it on the computer. Now we're going to get on the Nintendo Wii. I'll show you guys how to install the channel and a little bit of the emulator and a little bit of gameplay. So now over on the Wii, uh, we have the homebrew channel, we have preloader, which I always recommend for you guys to install, and then Wii Mod Lite to install any channel. So let's load up Wii Mod Lite, start it up. Uh, go down to the wand manager and press A. Press A on the Wii SD slot. Uh, go down to your WADS folder. Press A. We're going to go down to the Not64 WAD folder. Press A. Uh, press A to install. This shouldn't take too long. Just be patient. There you go. It's been installed. Now press any key to continue. You're going to press the B button. You're going to press the Home button. This is going to take you back to the uh, main menu and you should have the watch channel so there it is let's load it up press start now I am using the Wii Pro controller for this uh, so it's going to show up in port A the first one so the first thing we need to do is to go into settings so native save devices, I have it as SD. A safe state device, also SD. CPU emulator, I have it as recompiler. CPU clock divider, I have it as two. Safe settings, save it to the SD. In the video options, uh, show frames per second. Now this is gonna be up to you. You can have it on or off. Uh, screen mode, I always recommend 4x3. Uh, CPU frame buffer, I have it as off. 2x textures, I have it as off. FB textures, I have it as off. Now input. Now this is going to be your controller. Now if you want to map out any of the buttons, just go down to configure buttons. So this is going to be your controller. Uh, just make sure you save the profile. Once you have all your buttons mapped out. Now let's go back. Audio. Uh, disable audio. I have it as no. Speed limit. I have it under VI in the middle. Scale pitch. Yes. 
Now under saves, uh, auto save native states, I have it as yes. Now let's go back. Now we are ready to load up a game. So we're going to load ROM uh, from SD. Now this is going to populate your games. So I'm going to load a couple just so you can see what it's like. So Mario Kart 64. Now you're going to go down to play game. And then your game should load. Now, like I said, make sure you go through the compatibility list to see what games work the best. So Mario Kart shouldn't have any issues. So it runs pretty smooth. And now we're going to hit the home button. Uh, we are going to go up to current ROM. Um, this is if you want to load your save state or save the game. This is where you do it. Now we're going to go back and load up another game. So load ROM from SD. We're going to load up GoldenEye 007. And then play the game, and then your game should load. So there you go, a pretty easy emulator to navigate through. Um, like I said, this works for the Wii U and the Wii. I'm going to be leaving you all links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.